Hello, <clears throat> I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm a professional therapist. I've been working with families, couples, and individuals for 31 years. Part of that time, I have become extremely interested in trying to understand and to help people who were traumatized as very young children. By trauma, I mean parental abuse, abandonment, and neglect. When that happens to a very young child, frequently they, in order to survive, develop up to six psychological wounds, starting with the development of something that can be called a false self. The purpose of my nonprofit website and of these YouTube videos is to inform you about this complex subject, uh, particularly in case it applies to you, meaning were you traumatized to some degree as a young child, and if so, do you know what that means and do you know what to do about it? What I want to do in this video is highlight what I have learned in my 19 years of specializing with working with trauma recoverers, including myself. I am such a person. I've been in personal recovery, uh, meaning wound reduction, for 26 years. I want to summarize for you what you can expect if you decide, I am wounded, I don't want to be as wounded as I am, and I'm going to reduce my wounds. Other videos in my series and in my and other articles on my website tell you how to reduce your wounds after you've identified and accepted them. I want to offer you a preview of what happens typically. Everyone's different, but these are themes that I have observed in many courageous people who have decided to free their true personality self and reduce their wounds. These are typical things that they have experienced over weeks, months, and even years of recovery. In order to better understand what I'm about to summarize for you, let me invite you to see two videos if you haven't done so recently. The first is, are you a grown wounded child? Meaning, were you traumatized as a child? Many of us who were don't know it. So this video will introduce you to what the wounds are and give you a little a perspective on them. Here's the link. Pause this video, uh, click the link, watch the other video, which will open in a new window and come back here. Then watch a second video, which is about recovery. In this context, recovery means intentionally reducing the psychological wounds from childhood trauma. I'd like you to know something about what is this thing called recovery? What is it? So do the same thing. Pause this video. Here's the link. Follow the link. It'll open a new window. View that video. Finish it. Close it. Come back here and resume this. Now, I want to offer you some just summary uh, descriptors about if you choose to recover, meaning reduce psychological wounds, what can you expect? <clears throat> this is a complex subject. I could go on for hours on this, but here, is, here are the highlights. Over time, as you free your true self to make more of your life decisions, you can expect trending more serenity and less stress less worry, less anxiety, less confusion, more serenity, and more happiness. Happiness occurs when you get most of your current needs met in a good way. So that's one major expectation. A second noticeable theme as you recover is an increase in your self-confidence. I'm okay, I can do it, I can succeed, I'll manage where before you might have been ruled by a false self that said, I can't do it, it's too hard, I'll fail, 
your self-confidence genuinely does increase and your self-doubt decreases. Another effect of recovery is that confusion decreases. I'm not sure what I should do. I don't know what I feel. I don't know what's right. That gets replaced over time as your true self is trusted to lead you with clear vision about what's the next best right thing for me to do here, right now. It's pretty exciting. Another thing that happens to many people who are plagued with impulsivity, poor impulse control. You know anybody like that? People who blurt things and then regret it, or people who act in a way that later they're ashamed of or feel guilty of, feel sorry for doing something. That kind of impulsive behavior decreases and is replaced in recovery by intentional, thoughtful actions. A major benefit of recovery, reducing false self wounds, recovery from childhood trauma wounds, a major benefit that occurs almost immediately and increases over time is noticeably improved self-care. Many of us grown wounded children who sustain wounds in our childhood don't care about ourselves. We neglect our teeth, our body, we don't eat right, we don't get enough sleep, we work too hard or too little. We neglect ourselves. In true recovery, that shifts over time noticeably into genuine self-motivated self-care we want to take care of ourselves and be holistically healthy. Another benefit for many people who are suffering from what is sometimes called a chronic or clinical depression, in my biased opinion, often that's a misdiagnosis, by the way, I think often what is classified as depression is really grief either in process or unfinished grief. But my point here is in true recovery, as you reduce your wounds and free your true self, the frequency and, and duration of, quote, depressive episodes noticeably reduce and are replaced by feeling good enough, grounded, centered, serene, and often happy. Would you like that? Uh, a spinoff of that is you noticeably sleep better in true recovery. Less wake-ups, less having trouble going to sleep, less mind racing, in case you're troubled by any of those. Another major benefit of genuine recovery from childhood wounds is that excessive guilt and excessive shame, which tend to go together, noticeably shrink. Guess what the opposite of feeling shamed and guilty is? How about feeling self-confident, grounded, serene, and clear? Would you like more of that in your life? You can get it by freeing your true self. Another major benefit of uh, wound recovery is increasing clarity on the question, what am I on earth to do? What is my life purpose? Why am I here? I bet you know some people who have clarity on that question. Do you? Do you know what your life mission is? Do you know what you are exclusively on earth to do like no one else can do? True recovery opens the door to becoming clear on and moving purposefully towards your life purpose. Imagine what that would be like. A tactical improvement that happens for many people who, in addition to working at reducing their wounds, also 
study what's in my lesson two on my nonprofit website, which is about learning how to communicate effectively. If you learn the seven communication skills in that lesson and on YouTube in the lesson two videos, you will find that as your true self is freed, you can learn to assert your limits, your opinions, and your needs much more effectively with all kinds of people, adults and children, no matter how they resist you, you can learn to be an ass a successful asserter. And from that flows a lot of self-confidence and satisfaction. A major broad improvement that you'll find in your life if you commit to uh, recovery, reducing your wounds, is that the general quality of the relationships in your life, those that you choose and those that you're forced to have, the general quality and satisfaction of your relationships will go up. Less fighting, less uncertainty, less stress, less anxiety, more satisfaction as a general theme. <clears throat> you'll fight less, you'll problem solve more. And a major benefit overall that I've observed in many people who've had the courage to patiently work at reducing their wounds is their hope for a better life goes up and stays I've heard many people who first are introduced to the idea of inner family system therapy as a way of freeing their self and reducing their wounds. I've heard many people spontaneously say, for the first time, I have hope I can get better. It's true, you can. These are common benefits of recovery from childhood abuse, abandonment, and neglect. Each person experiences these in a unique pattern, in a unique way. There is no right way or best way. There's only your way. But I'm here to tell you, I've experienced these benefits in my life. I've seen other people experience them as well. Men, women, young, old. If you pledge to free your true self, you can, over time, gain many or most of these benefits and some that I haven't named. Notice your reaction. Does this sound too good to be true? Are you skeptical? Are you cynical? Do you doubt that this is real? Do you think this is psychobabble? Do you think this is some sort of cult come on? It isn't. Um, if you can talk to people who've experienced real recovery, you'll find they have a version of this and it's entirely because of their own efforts. You don't depend on someone else to get these, you do it for yourself with the help of a higher power. If you want to see some more information about the benefits of recovery using inner family system therapy, here's a link to a free website article on my website that goes into somewhat more detail and covers pretty much what I just said here. So, my purpose has been, in case you're curious about recovery or you're already beginning and you want to know what can I expect, what I've tried to do here is give you a preview of the many, many personal benefits that you will experience as your subcells learn to trust and follow your true self in making your daily life decisions. I urge you to try this out and I hope you enjoy the results. Thanks for watching.